Hello all, my name is Avinash. Emma, and welcome to PHP Ring video tutorials. He is the founder for this website and I am the mentor for this video. Today, we are going to learn the character map transformation in SSIS. Apart from that, we are socially active on Facebook, Twitter and Google Plus. Now, I am moving ahead and tell you what is character map transformation. The character map transformation applies string functions such as conversion from lowercase to uppercase to character data. This transformation operates only on the column data with a string data type. This transformation can convert column data in place or add a column to the transformation output and put the converted data in the new column. You can apply different set of character map transform operations to the same input column and put the results in different columns. For example, you can convert the same column to uppercase and lowercase and put the results in two different columns. The following table describes the mapping operations that the character map transformation support. Just you can walk through the below table and learn the each operation of character map transformation. Generally, we can perform the below operations in character map transformation. We can convert the lowercase to uppercase and hiragana to katakana, half width to full width and traditional chinese to simple chinese like that. Now I am switching to my SSDT tools and tell you how practically the character map transformation will work. Here I came up with my source. The source is coming from my SQL server. This is my source. Here the employee name contains the small letters and department name will fill up with the capital letters. Now I am going to take the character map transformation and going to drag and drop from SSIS toolbox to data flow pane. Create a connection between both. Click on here and you can choose the operation as uppercase and give a decent name at output alias name upper underscore e name and here I am going to convert the department name to lowercase click on ok just you can give a nice name here lower underscore department name if you want to override the input column you can choose in place change or if you want to add a additional column just you can choose a new column here I am going to add two more columns to my output that's why I have chosen the destination as a new column this is the about this is all about the configuration of character map transformation finally click on ok here I am not at all interested to configure any destination just drag and drop the derived column transformation create a connection between both and here you go to enable data viewer to see the plot of the data between character map and derived column now I am going to executing my package just click on executing button the package is executing just maximize this data viewer window here you can see the employee name can be converted to the upper case and the department name was converted to lower case just you can see the difference here that's all about the character map transformation